will continue to engage all sides. And we the Obama administration faces tough decisions in responding to Ukraine's uprising and its fallout. So what can we learn from how the president has responded to uprisings in the past? Back during Iran's Green Movement protests, Obama's remarks showed a pattern we'd also see later. First came, it's not our business. We respect Iranian sovereignty and want to avoid the United States being the issue inside of Iran. Then a week later, as the violence increased, a more pointed stance. In 2009, no iron fist is strong enough to shut off the world from bearing witness to peaceful protests of justice. Still, the president was heavily criticized for remaining too quiet as Iran's government cracked down on the protesters. The dilemma in terms of taking the quiet approach is now all of these things are playing out in a global stage. Protesters are, are demanding that, that powers like the United States take sides. Uh, very, very difficult to try to figure out you know, when you can have influence with a bully pulpit and when you actually can have more influence through you know, the quiet work over time. A couple of years later, when Tunisia's revolution began, U.S. officials urged restraint between both sides. Urge restraint, it's become a phrase used often by the administration. Obama and his team again urged restraint during Egypt's revolution and worked behind the scenes to try and resolve the conflict. According to a survey by the Pew Research Center at the time, only 12% of Americans said he wasn't offering enough support. And domestic politics are one of the countless factors he must weigh. But do Obama's public statements make any difference? It's been a little trickier to convert that rhetoric into a consistent policy. Depending on the country, interests collide. Staying on the right side of history is tricky business. So if history is defined as Tunisia, the United States is on the right side. But then that puts the United States on the wrong side in Bahrain. In terms of airstrikes into Libya in March 2011, Pew Research found that half the country said they were the right decision. But when it came to Obama's response to Syria, most Americans didn't even think he should be the one to authorize airstrikes. Now what should he do about Ukraine? Maybe the American people have the answer. Last December, Pew Research found that more than half of Americans think the U.S. should mind its own business on the world stage. David Botti, BBC News, Washington.